Uh, this is our gasifier. Uh, combined with the gasifier, we have a uh, bin feeder, um, which is also uh, used to dry uh, the stock feed, the wood uh, blocks. Uh, so the uh, gasifier's uh, hottest part, uh, which is this area, it will be uh, positioned right here uh, with this big uh, ventilator fan, which sucks in all the hot air. Uh, and it will blows in over the wood um, in a special way where all the wood is dried uh, before it's used. So new wood gets being uh, dumped in on top uh, with a big bag and it gets uh, taken out manually on the side um, and then used manually on top. So this bin is uh, built for this gasifier as well that uh, is uh, also a drying uh, plant for the, for the feed. Hello, uh, this is our gasifier unit uh, we are selling. Um, it's based on the um, Ben Peterson uh, model um, that you can build. Um, you will have the main overlay of the parts is the main um, reactor, uh, the hopper feeder and the um, uh, the filter box. Uh, we've added some extra uh, cyclone uh, filter uh, assembly and there is some extra cooling um, added onto the system. We have also um, added a, um, uh, a vibrating wrapper motor uh, on top uh, to keep it uh, from not hanging up and uh, everything is controlled via the electrical um, controls uh, with timers. Um, this control box will also be controlling a motor underneath, uh, which is the ash uh, grid motor. Uh, it keeps uh, the ashes from falling down and access for the air to flow. And also the blower motor, which is the main startup blower motor um, over here uh, to start the uh, unit up. Uh, this unit could be bypassed uh, when you are running a uh, combustion motor so that the blower is not the primary uh, air mover. Um, basically, uh, feedstock will be coming in on the top. Um, that'll be feed. And uh, main air will be via this uh, safety valve over here. And there is an inspection uh, glass to see your, uh, your, your flame condition. Um, there is uh, maintenance portals. Uh, under every uh, uh, part of the unit uh, to do regular maintenance of removing uh, dust or ashes or water. Um, there is multiple uh, condensed collection tanks. The first one will be on the hopper, which is this one. Uh, the next one will be on the top part of the reactor, uh, which is also a place to remove some condensed water. And then, of course, uh, after the gas has gone through the uh, Cyclone feeder and going through the uh, cooling pipes, there is a big uh, collection, uh, condensed water collection tank at the bottom. Um, the, after that, the gas will exit into the uh, main filter uh, unit, which is uh, comprised of uh, organic materials and also some filters. And this will give you your uh, clean gas out to be used in your motor. Thank you. This is one of our um, generators uh, that is for sale. Uh, they are installed into uh, two, um, two uh, containers. Um, this specific uh, generator we have been used uh, the most. Uh, uh, from the outside, our gas has been coming in through a final filter, um, which was uh, then mixed in with the, uh, with the air. Um, this was our electronic carburetor, also built on um, Ben Peterson's um, uh, carburetor uh, model, which is uh, controlled via Arduino and carburetor to mix in um, the correct uh, amount of air and uh, gas mixture. Uh, this uh, specific model is a 12 kVA uh, model. Um, it comes uh, with full... Um, uh, deep sea electronic uh, generator controls 
and it has um, also uh, heat exchange on the hot water um, and heat exchange on the uh, exhaust. Um, so all heat is uh, is uh, reused from this uh, mo motor. Um, this is our uh, second uh, generator that is also for sale. Um, it is uh, similar as the other one, uh, just with a silent um, uh, noise uh, cancelling canopy. Um, it is uh, the motor and generator. It comes with a, um, also its own uh, generator controls, which is uh, this one, Interlite. And um, it also has uh, heat exchange on the uh, on the water side and also on the exhaust side. So all heat could be uh, reduced from this uh, motor. This is the uh, second container. Um, it has the third generator, which is also a 12 uh, kVA generator with a uh, smart gen controller. And this unit um, is placed with um, 3,000 uh, liter buffer tanks. Uh, which can accumulate all the heat uh, from the motor um, via the uh, heat transfer uh, from the uh, hot water of the motor and the uh, exhaust. And uh, here is uh, also installed some pumps and some uh, controls uh, to keep recycling uh, the water, uh, the hot water from the motors. Uh, and uh, accumulated into these uh, tanks that can be used for heating. Um, inside uh, one of the containers we have a newly built um, uh, a heating system. It's uh, comprised of 3,000 liter buffer tanks and uh, these collect the heat of uh, the generators. Um, so um, it is like a CP CPH system uh, combined heat and power uh, that you can uh, that you can put together and each of these generators or gasifier or uh, heating systems it can be bought separately or as a total set um, 